I'm going to go over a few things in the Word of God today. Um, one thing, if you're going in the Word of God with uh, a doctrine or belief, it's very dangerous because um, if you add or take away from the Word of God, God will add or uh, the plagues that are written in the book of Revelations or take away your name out of the book of life. And so, yes, your salvation does uh, rely on what you believe. And people say, but we're saved by grace through faith. Well, see, it says faith without works is dead. And, I'm not, and a lot of people say, well, we don't enter in by works. Well, that's the works of the law. And if you closely read what Paul was written, writing, he always said later on, before or after, that it was the works of the law. There are works of faith that you do enter in by. And the, the works of the Spirit, they're not of yourself, but they come from God. But there's still works in you. So, yes, you do enter into grace by faith. And faith without works is dead. So, it's impossible to enter into grace without the works of faith, too. I just want to say that, put that out there. But uh, people are coming in and out with all kinds of doctrines. The doctrine of the... Uh, Nephilim, the fallen angels, uh, generational curses, um, the plan of salvation, um, once saved, always saved, the rapture doctrine. Um, there are so many doctrines out there that are false, that are not from God, and I'm going to point them out to you. I just want to say, first of all, the devils want you to believe. They want you to believe, but they just don't want you to believe the truth. They want you to believe something, and they want you to fight tooth and nail for it as though it were the gospel. Yep. That way they can always keep you bound and hidden from the truth. Um, I'm going to go to the rapture doctrine. The rapture is supposed to be the Latin equivalent of the Greek words caught up, supposedly. You know, supposedly they're supposed to be the equal. Well, let's just say they are. Okay, uh, what people are interpreting today is the rapture is not the same thing as what Paul spoke of as being caught up, which was a process of God. Let me explain. In 2 Corinthians 12, 2, Paul was caught up to the third heaven. Caught up, the same Greek words as in 1 Thessalonians 4, 17 where it says, uh, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. That word caught up, it comes, um, it's the Greek word, um, it's 726 in the Greek, in your Strong's Concordance. But anyways, um, what is the what has happened is, People have taken the words caught up, tacked the word rapture on it, moved, or, or the devil has moved it over, and now it is a disappearing trick instead of the process of God. Let me explain. Paul, when he was caught up to the third heaven, he didn't disappear before the tribulation. Nope. In fact, he was still here. He could have been still here on the earth because he said whether in the body or out of the body. That means he could have been in his body, uh, still on the earth. Just like John was on the Isle of Patmos but was caught up to God. Just like uh, Elisha asked his servant's eyes to be opened right where they were at. And his servants seen the heavenly armies around him. Just like John seen the heavenly realm. And just like Paul seen the heavenly realm and the process that was going on in the apostles or throughout the history of the bible is the same pattern we will repeat jesus was caught up above all heavens so there is a process of god that takes place where you're you're uh, as you go through the deaths and baptisms that paul spoke of he said i die daily and it says buried with him in baptism wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of god and when i'm talking about that is you're dying you're going down to the grave and you're raising back up you, but you do this over and over how am i saying that because in um hebrews get this marker right Hebrews chapter 6, it talks about the doctrine of baptisms, 
plural, more than one baptism. So it's not a water, it's a spiritual baptism. Jesus asked his disciples, can you be baptized with a baptism I'm baptized with and drink of the cup that I drink of? And they said, we are able. Uh, because Christ went through the baptisms of God. It says he became obedient unto death. And it said he learned obedience through the things, he learned obedience through the things which he suffered. And Paul said it, uh, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. And the so-called uh, rapture, or actually I like the words caught up because that way we're not confused, is the same thing as the resurrection. Believe it or not, because let's go over here. Okay? Let's see here. Blow these words up. King James. Um, oops. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. See? The resurrection. Uh, and then the furtherance of the process, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds. And believe it or not, that caught up is the same thing as the dead rising. Uh, it's just a finish, finishing touch on it. Because remember, Lazarus was raised from the dead, uh, but he was just awoken out of sleep. There were also uh, saints that uh, came up out of their graves after Jesus' resurrection. They awoke out of sleep. It doesn't say they went through the... Uh, now, Jesus... He told him, touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. See, the full resurrection is when corruptible puts on incorruption, and mortality puts on immortality. And, uh, you know, all these, every verse in the Bible that they use to try to convince you that they're of the rapture doctrine, I could, in my other videos, I, did, I mean, I could show you each and every way that it is, is it's clearly not saying what they are saying um but i guess i'm just gonna have to keep making videos like this um but anyways um yes yeah, the resurrection so if it's the resurrection and we're buried with him in baptisms wherein also you're risen with him through the faith of the operation of god it is a process See, Jesus ascended up far above all heavens. Paul ascended to the third heaven. So there's more than one heaven. So there's, if he was caught up to the third heaven, that means there's different levels of being caught up to God. So a lot of you are having these dreams, and uh, you are incorrect by interpretation. You're uh, taking most of your dreams literal, and you're not interpreting them correct. I will make other videos, if the Lord wills, about, if the Lord wills about this. But... I'm going to have to cut it short right here. This is just a start. God bless.